Good morning, everyone. March this month is Women's History Month, and in this month we celebrate everything about girls and women.、Uh, we use a lot of beautiful words to describe their achievements, their talent. Some of them, they're brave, they're smart, they're bold enough to make a change, and especially we celebrate and in memory of those great girls and women in the history they dare not to make a change and to be the first. So today I have a book. It's called The Flying Girl.、Uh, I want to share with you. This is a this is a true story about the first female who ever drive a powered aircraft.、Uh, it's called How Aida de Osta Learned to Soar by Margarita Engel. One day, a girl named Aida was strolling on a lively street in a lovely city when she glanced up and was dazzled by the sight of a huge balloon that glided as gracefully as a whale-shaped moon. Here it is. Below the balloon, an air boat dangled, and inside there was a man. There was a man who was driving that huge balloon. This is Aida. Aida was in the story of what's happening in Paris. If that man can fly, so can I," cried Aida. "All I need are some lessons and a chance to try." Aida's mother scolded. "No, no, no, silly girl! Don't be so bold! I, I, I! No one will ever marry a girl who dares to fly. How silly was that?" But Aida has a dream now—a wild dream of soaring. And she did not care to marry anyone who thought dreams were boring. Dreams are never boring. She had made the decision. She's dreaming big now. So Aida asked the man to teach her the art of airship flight. The inventor of the airship, whose name was Alberto, it's a, uh, he was uh, he was a man in the history who ever invented the. Powered air balloon, agreed to show Aida how to start a motor and steer, turn left, turn right. Lessons on the ground weren't easy, but Aida worked hard and soon learned how to pull this lever, tug that rope, drop more ballast, believe, practice, hope. That's all you need. One evening. Alberto invited Aida to an aerial dinner with tables as tall as elephants, served by waiters who walked on tilted stilts that made them look like silly giraffes. At dinner, Alberto said that his airships were meant to be sharrows of peas, so that people all over the world could meet one another and develop friendship by flying back and forth. So he designed it.、Uh, he invented aircraft for good. Although that dinner did look silly. <laughs> When Alberto invited Aida to ride while he drove an airship, she cried, "No, no, no! I, 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 I won't be a passenger. I only want to be the pilot." Alberto was amazed. Aida was just a teenager, and no woman or girl had ever flown before. But no one had believed Alberto's wild dream of motorized flight could ever come true either, not until he invented his airship. So Alberto realized that if if he could fly, Aida could too. All she needed was courage and a chance to try. Here we go. One on a clear summer day, Aida finally had her thrilling chance to pull this lever, tug that rope, drop more blast, believe, rise up, hope. She's going to fly in the air by herself. She is the pilot this time. Like a whale-shaped moon, the airship's enormous balloon soared above the busy city and out to the countryside. It sailed over grain farms and cows and sheep, high above the heads of excited children who cried out, "Look, look! It's a girl, and she is flying!" 
From her dangling airboat, Aida smiled down at the children, but then she frowned at Alberto, who was on a road far below, frantically paddling his bicycle. Oh, here, and waving a handkerchief, and he tried to show her which way to go, even though she had already told him that she did not need help because she had practiced. She is skillful. She doesn't need help at all. Alberto got tangled in the thicket of trees and fell far behind. Aida kept flying high above roads and rivers, completely alone, truly free. Until finally, she reached her de destinations, a green field where swift polo ponies twirled and leaped like dancers. Oh, they're playing polo. She's about to land. Aida landed skillfully, planning to watch the daring game. But down on the ground, she soon found that she could not climb out of the airboat because this boat is too high for her. Her dress was too fancy. Hmm, that's a problem. The skirt was too tight. So she wriggled while children giggled until, in the end, some helpful man had to tip the boat sideways. Oh. So that she could slide slide out almost gracefully without too much of a bumpy, toppling, tumble. So here's a problem. Seems it needed some change to the dress or the clothes that women wearing back then. Aida tried to watch the horses, but angry strangers surrounded her, shouting, scolding, calling names. Saying that she was too bold, too brave, too different, too strange. It it was strange back then that no girls or women ever drive an aircraft, but she was the first one. Girls, they hollered, should only be allowed to learn how to cook, sew, and clean. But girls, they bellowed, should never be taught how to fly huge machines. That was the common sense back then. But still, she did it. Just then, Alberto finally caught up, still paddling his bicycle, eager to cheer her. "You did it!" he shouted. "You flew! You were a hero! Such a brave inspiration for all the girls of the world." She truly is. She inspired every single child, especially girls, to have a big dream. Aida smiled. Aida laughed. Yes, yes, yes. Ay, ay, ay. She really was the first, but she was sure she would not be the last. No,、nope. she was not the last. Every child who had seen her glide so high above roads and fields was probably already singing. If that young lady can fly, so can I. All I need are some lessons and a chance to try. Sometimes Aida said to Alberto. All it takes to change the whole world is one wild dreamer's soaring example. That is so true. And at the at the end of the book, there's a short、uh, introduction biography of Aida de Costa. She was the first female in the human history who ever drive a powered aircraft, a powered air balloon. That is she. I hope you enjoy the stories, and I, ho I hope someday you will be like her, dream big and fly high. Thank you.